Hello, in this video we'll use Unity Standard Assets Ethan character from the Asset Store. You can go ahead and import him into the project and then we can get started. Next open the IK Driver Day Demo scene and in that scene is going to be the IK Driver Demo Controller that holds references to the IK Driver prefabs. We'll duplicate the IK Driver Left Steering prefab and rename it to IK Driver Tutorial. Then you can drag the IK Driver Tutorial prefab into your scene and also disable the IK Driver Demo Controller, which is responsible for spawning the prefab, so that will no longer happen when we press play mode. The first change we'll want to make is to find the IK Driver Avatar, which is the Race Driver object, and we'll drag Ethan to be a child of this object. This is so he can inherit the transform position and rotation. Then we'll copy the animator component and paste it on top of Ethan. And we'll also do the same for the IK driver script. Next we'll need to make sure that the animator is using Ethan's avatar. So we'll go ahead and assign that. Then we'll find the helmet camera that's attached to the old race driver's head. And we'll want to take this and make this a child of Ethan's head. Now we can delete the race driver from the scene. We don't need it anymore. Next we'll need to go into play mode and adjust the camera position a little bit. We can copy the new position and rotation that we end up finding for this, but this will give us a good view of what the game mode is actually going to look like. So here I'm just moving and rotating the camera transform inside of the scene view. And once I find a good position, I'll just copy the component. This is starting to feel about right. I'll exit play mode and I will paste the new component values. So now if I go back into play mode it will use the values that I just changed it to. All right, we're about done with the camera so we can go ahead and do one last test and collapse it. We'll go ahead and rotate the steering wheel and we'll notice that Ethan's hands are a little shorter. They don't really reach it. Let's take a look at the steering wheel and We'll notice that we can move this object around and we can actually unparent it from the parent wheel and move that around too. So we have a few different objects that we can play with and there are also some IK direction targets that are used for the left and right hands in the current IK driver configuration. Um, so what we're going to do is unparent the steering wheel left and with, by doing this it allows us to adjust the IK steering wheel and we, we can determine the position that we want the hands to be and the targets to be. Um, Ethan's wrists are always reaching for these targets so as we move these targets his wrists will also move and his hands will move with them. So let's go ahead and resize this to better match the steering wheel and we'll also reposition it so it looks like Ethan's hands are here. And we'll copy the component values and then exit play mode, unparent the steering wheel left, and paste the component values. This allows us to make this change without affecting the steering wheel scale. So now if we go back into play mode, we'll see that it's a little better, but we'll still need to adjust his avatar position So let's go ahead and do that a little bit. Once we find a good position, we want him to have his arms bent at the elbow so he has room to steer and he doesn't lose contact with the wheel. So these seem to be good. His hands are staying in their position. Let's just make sure everything looks right with this.
So I'll go ahead and I'll, you can also adjust the rotation of this avatar and there's no um, configuration that constrains that rotation but if you wanted to make some adjustments you can do that. Right now I'm just gonna paste the component values that I found while I was in play mode and I'll want to copy these values into the avatar position and that's the position that the avatar is always going to sit in. So now that I'm done with this change, I'll go ahead and enter play mode again. And we can see that his arms now have some, some bending at the elbow and he can actually reach the steering wheel. So we'll again follow the same steps of copying the component transform uh, for the IK target east and the IK target west if necessary. So we can use this to position the hand precisely on the wheel. And we'll go ahead and copy that component value, exit play mode, and then we'll paste it in. This is starting to feel a lot better. So inside of play mode, let's just give this another test and we'll see if it feels good. And if it does, then we can use it. I, I do want to pull him up a little bit on the Y axis. So let me do that and go ahead and copy that transform value again. This is so that the camera looks a little bit more appropriate. Go ahead and copy each of these values and paste them into the position. Let's do one final test in play mode and make sure everything looks good. And it all feels pretty good. I like this for just a few minutes, it doesn't look bad. Uh, you could always spend a little bit more time on the details. One of the things that I do notice is that the helmet camera is rendering part of Ethan's face. It might be his nose if you notice the center of the screen. If you have a model that has a separated head, you can uh, set that head layer to ignore raycast, and this camera is set to not draw that layer. Or you can adjust the near clipping planes. And that about does it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.